Hello everyone, welcome to my channel 365 Blend Bytes. Today, we will create a simple yet professional and presentable balance sheet in Excel, which can subsequently be saved as a PDF for distribution to stakeholders. Here's a preview of how the final balance sheet will appear. Also asset sheet along with liability and stakeholders equity sheet. Let's get started. Open a new Excel workbook. Rename sheet 1 to dashboard. Insert sheet 2 and rename it assets. And insert sheet 3 and rename it as liabilities and shareholders equity. Right click on the dashboard tab to color it according to your preference. Repeat this step for the other sheet tabs as well. First, let's prepare the dashboard. Type balance sheet in cell B1. In cell B2, enter your company name. In cell B4, type balance summary. In cell B5, type total assets, and in B6, type liabilities and shareholders equity in cell B7 type balance. Select the initial data range, navigate to the format as table option under the home tab and choose your preferred table style. Ensure to check the my table has headers option and click OK. In cell C3, use this formula to get the previous year which is 2023. Similarly, use the formula in D3 to get the current year, which is 2024. Chose the text color of your choice for both years. Additionally, apply a distinct color to the cell range B7 to D7 to differentiate it from the other cells. Increase the font size of the balance sheet text to 28 and company text size to 15. Then set the background color of the text. And change the text color to white. You can make precise adjustments and align the text to ensure it fits well on single page and appears visually appealing. Change the text in cells C4 and D4 to 2023 and 2024 respectively and set the text color to match the cell background color to make the text invisible. Now, we'll leave the dashboard for now and move to the asset sheet. On the asset sheet, type assets as a heading in cell B1. In the cell B3 type current assets. In cell C2, type equals and click on the dashboard sheet, then select the cell with the year 2023. And similarly drag the formula to the right in D2 to link it to the cell with the year 2024. To save time, I'll paste the necessary fields such as current assets, fixed assets and other assets in column B without manually typing them in. Select the cell range in column C and D. Then, go to the Home tab, click on the Number group, and format the selected cells to currency or accounting. Now, let's speed up and repeat this process for the liabilities and shareholders equity sheet. List down current liabilities and long-term liabilities along with shareholders equity with corresponding totals. Format the selected cells to currency or accounting similarly to the asset sheet. Since we are creating a sample balance sheet, feel free to list the assets and liabilities based on your company's specific requirements. Next, proceed to enter the values for each item in both the 2023 and 2024 columns on the Assets and Liabilities sheet. Increase the text size in B1 as per your preference. And set the cell background color. Along with the text color as white by using Font Group under Home tab to enhance visual appeal. Adjust the text color for the years 2023 and 2024 to complement the theme color professionally. Now, let's select the data range, go to Format as Table, and choose the table style that best matches the theme color and keep my table as headers checked. Then hit OK. Repeat the same steps for the other data ranges as well. Ensure to change the text color of Fill to Column 1 and Column 2 to Green to make it invisible. Adjust the column size and align the text to ensure all content is fully visible and neatly presented. Repeat the same steps in the Liabilities sheet to format the table with a theme color. Now go to Asset Sheet and calculate totals. In the cell C10, use the Subtotal 109 formula for total current assets in 2023 and hit Enter. Similarly, drag the formula to the right to calculate the total for the year 2024 as well. The reason we use subtotal 109 instead of SUM is that it accounts for filtered data, showing totals only for visible cells, excluding hidden ones. Repeat the same steps for each data range both in assets and liabilities sheets to calculate the totals. 
Enhance the visibility of each total row by making it bold both in assets and liability sheets to differentiate it from other rows. Now, return to the dashboard. In cell C5, type equals and link to the total assets for 2023 from the asset sheet, summing current assets, fixed assets, and other assets. Then hit enter. Repeat same steps for year 2024 in cell D5 as well. For liabilities, link to the total current liabilities, long-term liabilities, and shareholders' equity for year 2023 and hit enter. And do the same steps for 2024 as well. Calculate the balance by subtracting total liabilities from total assets in cell C7, 2023, and drag formula to write to get results in D7 for year 2024. To visualize the data, select the data ranges for current, fixed, and other assets from the asset sheet. Then go to Insert tab. And insert a 3D clustered bar chart. Change the chart title to Assets. You can color the text to match the theme for better visual consistency. Next, right-click on the series name and chose Select Data. Choose the first series, click Edit. Then type equals and select cell C3, which contains the year 2023. Repeat the same steps for the second series, this time selecting the cell with the year 2024. Then hit OK. Now, right-click on the chart and choose the Cut option. Then, go to the dashboard sheet and paste the chart there. Adjust the chart size to ensure it best fits within the dashboard sheet. Do the same for liabilities and shareholders' equity, inserting another 3D clustered bar chart with current assets, long-term liabilities and shareholders' equity and moving it to the dashboard. Adjust the chart size to ensure it best fits within the dashboard sheet. You can use the chart design and format options to choose the best possible design for your chart. Additionally, you can click on the bars within the chart to select and customize the desired bar color. Finally, for enhancement of summary, select Total Assets Data for 2023 and 2024, then go to Insert tab and choose a 3D pie chart under Charts group. You can use switch rows and columns if needed to get desired chart output. Customize the chart style by using chart design option and colors based on your choice to make it visually appealing. Additionally, you can double-click on the chart and choose point explosion under the format data series options to enhance the visual impact of the chart. Customize the chart title to match the theme of dashboard. Click on Chart Series and edit the series name by choosing Year 2023 and 2024 accordingly and then hit OK. In this case I am matching with the theme of Dashboard. Move the chart to an appropriate place on the Dashboard sheet. Then, set the background color of the dashboard to match the theme color for a cohesive look. Copy this pie chart and paste it on Dashboard. Then adjust the data range to show liabilities and shareholders' equity instead. Make some minor adjustments and use leader lines from Format Data Label to make charts best fit in dashboard with visually appealing look. With our balance sheet and visualizations complete, we're ready to present a clear financial summary. This structured approach helps in better financial planning and decision making. We can simple use Save as option in Excel to save it in PDF. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like and subscribe. Your support means the world to me.